Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about period and frequency. This is a topic in physics that shows up all over the place in quite a few different topics, such as simple harmonic motion, pendulums, spring systems, even Kepler's laws. So it's going to show up a lot in physics, but the good news is it has the same equation every time. So first, let's define period. Period is going to be or at least I'm going to define it as the time it takes to complete one oscillation. Now I want you to think of an oscillation as like a lap or a loop or a cycle. So for instance, if I have a spring bouncing up and down, one oscillation is the spring going down and then back up. It's a full range of motion. And the equation we can say for period, first of all, we use the symbol T for period, capital T. I don't know why, but we do that. And the equation is time divided by number of oscillations. Remember that the word oscillations can be replaced with cycles or rotations or anything that means something similar. And the units for period are going to be seconds. I guess technically it can be minutes or hours too, but usually it's seconds in physics class. And then for the other concept we're gonna be talking about today, which is frequency. Frequency is literally the opposite of period. It's the number of oscillations per second. And so the equation for frequency, first of all, we use lowercase f for frequency. It is defined as the number of oscillations divided by your time. In other words, what you could say is frequency is equal to one over t the period, or you could even write t the period is one over the frequency. And as a matter of fact, we actually use that relationship all the time. Frequency is the reciprocal of period and vice versa. So now let's just look at a couple questions and we can be done with frequency and period, at least for this little introduction here. So let's say you have a mass spring system or something that's going to make 10 oscillations in a time of one minute. And I want you to find the period T and the frequency F. So this is very easy. T the period is equal to time per oscillation. It's one minute over 10 oscillations. Technically, I can't use minutes. I got to convert that to seconds. So one minute is 60 seconds. In other words, T equals 60 over 10. 60 divided by 10 is six. In other words, the period is six seconds. Translation to English, it takes six full seconds for the object to go to one side and all the way back, which I'll admit is a pretty long time. And now if I want to find frequency, well, frequency is just one over the period. So the answer is one sixth. Oh, and I forgot to talk about the units. The units you can say are one over seconds. You can say seconds to the negative first power or the most popular unit is the Hertz HZ. That's the most popular unit you'll see, which means one over seconds, basically. And so that's it for the first one. Now, just one more quick example. In your car, there's a little dial next to the speedometer. It's called the tachometer. It measures how many rotations per minute or RPM your engine is running at. A standard measurement for the tachometer is 2000 RPM, or in other words, 2000 rotations per minute. And my question for you is, I want you to find the period and the frequency for 2000 RPM. And if you think you can solve it without me, go ahead, pause the video, do it. If you need help, here's the solution. So first I am going to rewrite this as 2000 rotations per minute and minutes is no good. I got to convert that to seconds. The way we're going to do that is we're going to say one minute in the numerator and 60 seconds in the denominator that gets minutes to cancel out. So really, if I just divide my answer by 60, that's going to give me the units I want. So 33.3 rotations per second. Now, maybe you're stuck here. Well, let me tell you, rotations per second, that's the same thing as a frequency. Remember, frequency is the number of oscillations or rotations, again, the, basically the same word, per second. So in other words, you have the frequency. F equals 33.3, we have it. And we can say the units are hertz, and we're done. So in other words, your engine is making 33 cycles, 33 circular motions, every second that's really fast now if we want to find period t is equal to 1 over f so it's just 
one over 33.3. You could also take the reciprocal in your calculator and I'll get a period of 0 0.03 units or seconds. And what this means is every 0 0.03 seconds, the engine completed one revolution. Again, very fast. And so there we go. I found my frequency, I found my period, and we're done. So that's a good introduction to period and frequency. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.